Good to see you this morning. I mean, this does seem to be turning into a bit of a farce, doesn't it? Well, it's been a farce for a while, hasn't it? I mean, it's, it's just extraordinary. I, I, there's no sense of grip or discipline or... or in, normally, you go to the Cabinet Secretary or the Privy Council or something, and yet <laughs> people are making it up as they go along. And, and today, it's the turn of the police to get a kicking. But, you know, it's next week. Who knows who it'll be? It's, it's, it's chaos. But everybody seems to be saying this is farcical, this is a shambles, and it seems that uh, it, they're almost kicking the blame for delaying this report from one person to another. But who is at the bottom of all this? Is it being choreographed? I, I, don't, I journalists are always accused of being conspiracy theories. I think this is cock up rather than conspiracy. I, I, I think everybody's having their two penny worth, and Sue Gray's getting crossed today. The Met were. were were throwing their weight around earlier in the week and saying, no, no, don't publish this report. And then they said, yes, you can do. And now they're back saying, yes, you can do. But I, don't, I think it's, 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 you know, it's chaotic rather than anybody pulling, uh, pulling strings from behind the scene. Unless, of course, you, uh, you exclude Dominic Cummings from that because Dominic Cummings has clearly had it in for Boris for a long time. And of course, one wonders, you know, where some of these stories in the last few weeks have been coming from. Now, you, currently coming certainly has a motive, so... But, you know, well, one, yeah. I can't um, speak it any further than that because I have no, no, no knowledge, so... But uh, one can speculate.